Ever wonder if God can uh, get through that thing that's been bugging you for a long time? Perhaps you, you're in need of a miracle. Could be big, you know? We qualify stuff if it's cancer, oh, that's a biggie. If it's a hangnail, not so big, but uncomfortable perhaps. You know, the fact of the matter is God can do anything and he wants to do it through you. So that's what we're gonna talk about today in, um, in our greater series, how to uh, see a miracle happen in your life. This is The Bottom Line. Thanks for tuning in. This is The Bottom Line, recorded January 22nd, 2017, Santa Ysena Assembly of God. You know, I've been a, a pastor for a very long time, but before I was a pastor, I was actually a Christian. And so that means that uh, I get to test out my faith all the time. Because I stand before people and I talk to them about things uh, from Scripture, and, and I have to believe they're true. I mean, I guess I don't have to believe, but I do believe them to be true. And, and one of the things that I, I'm always struck by is the fact that, uh, it, that God says that uh, through Christ that all things can be made new. And yet there, I see so many things that are going on and I wonder, man, that's just so broken or, or man, there's so much sickness or disease and everything else. And it's really easy to get our eyes off the things of God and put them squarely on our issues and our problems. But I believe because of what Jesus has done, that he has made a way that the authority of God is purely right back in his court, his kingdom. And, and because of that, I believe that you and I have access to the greatest power source in all the world. Now, I know that there are people out there that, that want to discourage you and say, okay, yeah, God can do this, but he's not going to do that. Or the devil will come along and say, well, listen, you know, it's okay for you to have faith, but don't get too excited. He's not going to heal you of a cancer or do anything like that. You know, folks, I have seen the miraculous throughout my whole life. Sometimes it's actually been in my case or in the case of my family, but I've also seen it in the lives of other people. Last week I just heard of an amazing miracle for someone that just lives a few miles from here. I know the story. I know it's true. Praise God. God did something amazing. Heaven touched earth in a powerful way. What I want to encourage you about today is, is to not limit the way God wants to move in your life. Uh, we often say, well, I, I don't think he wants to do that. Or I'm just going to pray for other folks and I don't, I don't believe he, he wants to do that for me. It's selfish for me to, to want a miracle. Here, let me ask you a question. If I said, hey, I'm going to give you a million dollars, would you take it? I mean, if there was no strings attached, no, uh, nothing illegal here and everything, I was just saying, hey, I'm going to give you a million dollars. Well, maybe you'd be a little modest or whatever and say, well, you know, I don't know. I'm going to use it for good and everything else. I don't care what you use it for. I'm going to give you a million dollars. What would you do? You'd go, okay, I'll take it. Well, what if I t told you that, that God wants to heal you or if God wants to work the miraculous in your life or he wants to do the impossible? And you go, well, I'm not sure he wants to do that for me. I can believe that for somebody else. Hey, I'm telling you, he wants to do it for you. Why? So you can be well? Okay, sure, that's part of it. He loves you. But he also wants to do it so that his kingdom be, can be glorified. He can be seen as a powerful God. I'll tell you what, there's all kinds of people out there telling, their, telling us that they're powerful and they got everything going on and they've got all the answers and everything else. And I, I, I'm here to tell you that there's only one kingdom that truly matters, and that's the kingdom of God. And Jesus came to reestablish the authority that Satan stole from Adam and Eve. And, and, and when Jesus died on that cross for our sins, all authority in heaven and earth came back to him. If you read the, the, the Gospels, you will see kingdom of heaven, kingdom of God, and you'll see authority attached to that and that Jesus is his authority. One of my favorite scriptures is Matthew 6, that says, Seek first the kingdom of God. So go after the kingdom of God things. What are the things in the kingdom of God? Is there sickness in the kingdom of God? Is there lack in the kingdom of God? Is there need in the kingdom of God? No, none of these things are, are, are issues in the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God, everything is right. Everything is as it should be, the way it was established before sin came into the world. And I believe that as we live with a kingdom perspective, live in kingdom uh, reality, then God will break out some of these things in our life so that his power can be shown in a powerful way. So seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness or right living. And then all of these other things will be added to you as well. It's a, it's, it's a verse I've been quoting for, for years and years, but only recently really associated with how God wants to work in the kingdom of God. Isn't that crazy? I've been quoting that verse probably verbatim for 20 years. And only in the last five, six months I've caught, oh, kingdom of God. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Folks, I'm telling you, there's a, there's a world of truth in Scripture. And we often live uh, on the defense in regards to the things of God. But the gates of hell will, uh, will not prevail against the army of the Lord. And I'm telling you, folks, we often uh, are, are living in or playing that prevent defense. But God is calling us to the offensive. And that's why God wants to do kingdom stuff in your life so his power can be shown.
Hey, we were having a great series. I hope you tune in and, and watch all the, the, the bottom lines in this series. But in the meantime, hey, stand in the way of faith, believing. And, and just as uh, Jesus said to the guy who had been waiting to be healed for 38 years, do you want to be healed? Say, yeah, I want to be healed. This is my time. I believe it is. God bless you and thanks for watching The Bottom Line this week.